I made a coat. It's super easy. I can't wait to share it with you. Before we get started, let me say welcome. My name is Sharon. This is my channel, Sharon Sews. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing. And please, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let's chat about this great coat I just made. And the pattern I use to sew this couch is Simplicity 8217. 8217 was released in 2016. This is the view that I sewed right there. It's a really simple coat to sew because you don't have lapels, you don't have a collar, you don't have welt pockets, you don't have buttons, you don't have buttonholes, you don't have a lot of traditional tailoring techniques. It's a wrap coat. Let's talk about the fabric. You might recognize this fabric. This is a denim. It's an animal print with a little bit of sparkle. Can you see the sparkle? I bought it from Esther Harris. I think I shared it on a previous fabric haul video. I was gonna make jeans out of this. Pulled it out a couple weeks ago and I thought to myself, how often would you wear animal print, sparkly denim jeans versus animal print sparkly denim coat. Obviously the coat won. This, it started to get cold. And by cold, I mean about 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees. All I brought with me were down coats that are really good for minus 20, minus 10, zero degrees. So I thought denim coat, perfect. I made it about two weeks ago. I wear this so often. I made the right decision to not make jeans. It's a wrap coat, as I said, and it just has partial ties. These ties are sewn into the darts in the front here. So you just wrap your coat over, you just take your tie, and you wrap your tie over, and... Oh, you think after all the times I've worn it, I could do that a lot faster. Now I'm gonna tell you, when I first started wearing it, I was doing it nice and loose, if they show on the pattern envelope, it's all pretty on the pattern envelope. And then as I wore it, this is what was happening as I moved. And I didn't like that because I felt like I had to walk around them holding my coat close. So now I just pull it a little bit tighter. It maybe doesn't look as nice, but it's secure. Now, one thing that I really, really like about these ties, it's not like a traditional wrap coat where your belt goes all the way around and it's fine when it's tied, but sometimes when you untie it, <laughs> you look down and the belt has worked its way out of one belt loop and half is dragging behind you, or it's just, it can get sloppy looking. The other thing I love about this half belt is that it is not at my waistline. It is above by a couple inches, and that gives the illusion of a smaller waist. I kind of like that feature. Another thing I love about this coat is if I don't want to have it tied, I can just untie it and wear it loose. It's a little bit warmer out, don't worry about losing that tie belt. And it's just a nice little, almost like a cardigan, right? Nice long sleeves, they are wide. If you live in a cold weather environment, this probably would not be your friend. That's cold air, but it works okay here. So, did you see the peak orange? Yes, I lined it in orange, bright orange. Here, let's take this off and let me show you. Okay, the fabric is from Fabric Mart Fabrics, the lining. And I was gonna do black inside and I thought, well, why? Why not do something fun? Who's really gonna see it? Um, it's just a little pop of color when that lining pops open. The other thing I did is I added piping right here from between the band, there's the piping and the lining. It just adds that little finish on your coat. It's just a really nice touch and it's really easy to do. And I do not like labels up here on my neck. It has to do, I'm sure, with the surgery and that great big scar and it just kind of irritates me. So I take my label and I put it down. I put it down near the down, down at the bottom of the coat. So I have my 
I have my personal label, my positive message label, put the size tag in, and then I put a little handmade label. And I put dry clean only in here, but that's not for me. I did that if I would ever donate this coat to the thrift store. This is certainly not dry clean only. I pre-washed both of these fabrics and they're just fine. I just wouldn't want if somebody else became the new owner of this coat to not know how to take care of it or accidentally throw it in hot water or something. So, um, what else can I tell you? I sewed a size 14, which is typical size in sewing patterns for me. And I did not do any alterations except for one. I lowered the bust start by about one inch and then I lowered this front, I lowered this front tie placement by about one half of an inch. That was just to fit my personal body. I've got my notes here, you don't want to tell you anything about this great pattern. Um, oh, how could I almost forget? Pockets, inseam pockets. The pockets actually are black, the lining, because again, I was gonna start with the black and then change my mind. That's it, that's my review. I would highly recommend this coat pattern. It was easy to sew and I thought the instructions included with the pattern were very clear. They even tell you how to bag the lining. By bag the lining, what I mean is you're gonna do very little hand stitching to put this lining in place. It, um, it's machine stitched here. It's machine stitched here. It's machine stitched along the hem all for about, I probably left, what is that, about a, no, I think I left about that, about a four inch opening and you turn the whole coat inside out through that little opening and then you get to stitch it close. But that's it. If you wanna try a coat, go grab this pattern. Can't wait to see what you make. And don't be surprised if you don't see me making another one of these soon. Again, I'm Sharon, this is Sharon Sews. Thank you so much for being here. I'm curious, have you made a coat recently? Leave it in the comments below for me. Subscribe and like the video and I will see you soon. Happy sewing.